hi guys welcome back to the channel for those who are tuning in for the first time hello i am nisha and for those who already been here what it do baby boo i want to say thank you welcome back thank you for coming back to the channel today we are doing another foundation wear test if you guys have not seen the original video of this already detail explain why i am doing a lot of foundation wear tests um I will link the original video down at the bottom. I did a haul and that would explain everything to you guys. So I think this is number two for the episode out of 32 foundations that I bought this year alone. Yes. It feels weird saying it out loud like 32 foundations. Yes, 32 foundations that I bought this year alone. We're doing wear tests. This is foundation number two. Yes. We're going to be trying out the Morphe. What's the correct title of this? Sorry, let me get the box. This is the Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. This is a medium to full coverage foundation. So we're gonna jump right into this. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of details about the foundation, what it says on the website, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> so this is gonna retail for $20. This does come in 40 different shade ranges. Good job, Morphe. Um, and there's a lot of good ranges. I will get Morphe that. I don't know about the undertones and stuff, but I will say going off of the website, it looks like they know what they're doing, okay? It looks like a good amount of undertones and shade ranges for all skin types, so I will give Morphe that. Pro Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation is an oil-free, skincare infused foundation that delivers a natural finish for healthy looking skin. Read the box really quick. It says it's a little okay, blah, 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 blah. Aha! It's a, it says natural finish foundation, but underneath it, it says hydrates the skin and blurs imperfection for the ultimate soft focus look. So it's a hydrating foundation. <laughs> I'm only saying that because I'm an oily combo girl. So me using any radiant or hydration type of foundation, they do scare me just a little bit. But that just means I need to go extra hard with my other products before putting this on my skin so the preparation is going to mean business okay and then for the key features of this foundation it said that it's going to be natural buildable coverage pore blurring diffuse the look of imperfection and long wearing sweat proof and transfer proof i have a foundation blood transfer proof i'm like are you really transfer proof or I don't even think I should test it out because in all honesty, I put powders on top of my foundation. So it's going to transfer being that I put powders on top of the foundation. But anywho, let's go ahead and prep the skin and get ready for this Morphe foundation. All right, so here is what my skin is looking like. So I got a little bit of blemish, you know, going on because we're covering from some kind of weird breakout. I don't think it had anything to do with my makeup. I think it was stress related, hormones related, sweet intake related. So yes, yeah, so I'm trying to get my skin back on. It's good to go, go. So being that this is a hydrating foundation, I'm oldie girl. I am going to be looking for the Maddie Matte 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 primers in preparation when it comes to doing my face. So I'm go I am going to start off with the moisturizer. I know it sounds crazy, but um, sometimes when using certain mattifying primers, I feel like it sucks up all my natural oils to the point my skin feels very dry and irritable throughout the day. So I don't want that. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to go in with some moisturizer. And this is my Perlis. This is the Matcha Green Tea uh, Moisturizer. I believe I still have a coupon code with this brand. Or did they give me the boot? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, if you guys want to take advantage of it and see if it still works, I think I still leave it down at the bottom. And it's a really good moisturizer. Like as soon as I'm out, I will definitely will be repurchasing this myself. All right, for my primer today, I'm going to be going in with the Milk Makeup. This is the Mattifying Primer. We're going to prime these small lines. So 
All right, now for the star of the show. I don't think I mentioned what shade I have. I do have the Filter D35 for my shade. I'm hoping it's my shade, but going off the outside of the bottle, it looks like it actually might be my shade. So if you guys did not watch the actual haul video, I did let the Ulta website pick my shade because I ordered online and I used my favorite foundation for the shade reference. So, so everything is gonna be like a mystery, especially for these online things. Like the pump applicator, really cute. All right, it's time to pump, pump, pump it up. This definitely looks like I am gonna be okay with the shade. And it's very, very thick. It's taking a while for it to go down, which is a good thing. I am just going to I'm gonna use my brush just to apply it very evenly onto the skin. This looks really good. Ulta did really good on the shade matching. You can't even tell I have it on. Um, I definitely want to build this up just a little bit. But I am very happy with what I am seeing right now. Yes, yeah, so definitely cover up my imperfections that was going on over here. This looks really, really good. Okay. So I'm going to put this on mute really quick and I'll let the music play and just finish up the face and just show you guys all the steps on how I prepped the face. I'm not going to test the transfer proof because it's kind of hard to really test the transfer proof method when I'm going in with other products against the actual foundation that's underneath and on top of the foundation. So it's like, is it really still going to be transfer proof after that? So I will test the little spot that I have on the back of my hand. Y'all can barely see it because it's blending in with the skin, which is amazing. So I will test that part out. I'll probably put a little bit more on my hand just to see if it's transfer proof. But um, y'all can't even see it. it. Looks This is like dead on a good color match. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and finish. I'm happy. All right, so the face is on, honey. I have a positive feel for this foundation. It is 9.38 a.m. We're gonna give Miss Morphe a good run for her money. Um, 
trying to debate how long I'm gonna have her on. I'm gonna set myself for about a good six to eight hours, leaning towards more of an eight hour because that's usually how long people will keep the foundation on. And I'll try my best to check in throughout the day just to give you guys like the timestamp to show you guys how she looked each like every three hours maybe in a sense yeah so yeah here is she i'm loving how this turned out oh my gosh look at the skin look at the skin it's a lean look at the skin okay i'll see you guys in a few the face is giving ooh la la the face is giving ooh la la <laughs> y'all i'm really i'm surprised but i kind of had a feeling that this is going to be a good foundation the only thing i was kind of like skeptical about being that it's hydrating i was like okay it's definitely going to be oily it's gonna it's gonna definitely go against my oils but you know what it held up pretty good and today y'all i am so over the summer i am so over so over these hundreds and fifties hundred and eighteens like I'm, I'm over it baby i'm over it <laughs> so today was another high day as you guys can see i have my hair pinned up now because the curls were not giving no more it was looking like poof poof daddy and yeah but i only blot it once and that was around what, what time was that three o'clock all right i'm giving you guys a check-in it is three something right now <sighs> i am oily but i kind of figured i was going to be being that this is a hydrating foundation but other than that i think it's holding up and looks pretty good i am gonna actually do a blot though because i got places to go <laughs> so this is gonna be my first blot that i'm going to do not too bad not too shabby all right i'm gonna lock her back up and then i'll come back later on and that was my first and only blot and that was how long did i have it on with that mark uh and at that time it was six hours of me having the foundation on so and like i said this is a really good match I, what i really like about this foundation is that, is that it did not oxidize because some foundation throughout the day it does oxidize but this did not do that. I'm really, really here for this foundation. So now that I have tried this foundation out myself, I won't side eye the people who wants to get um, Shea Match in this foundation. <laughs> Cause I was like, mm, why that one? But now that I actually tried it on myself and I'm a little bit more educated about it being that it's hydrating, you know, stuff like that. So she gets to stay in the collection. So she's not gonna be returned. I really like how she looks she cover up my skin yes i'm looking a little shiny and oily i'm not even going to blot because i'm happy with you know what i am going to blot but i just want to say i am happy with the results like she looks really good i want to come in close because sometimes these lightings i know it can be like a little deceiving so let me come close so you guys can see all my oils <laughs> look at that with just that one blotting you can barely see like a little bit of oils but not that much like my skin looks healthy it looks like i have on a highlighter which i do but it don't look overbearing you know i guess i can give it one last block because i'm on my way to the store i was like let me hear if i do a, a check-in because i'm about to take these lashes out that's the one thing i'm about to do uh got my phone it is 7 25 p.m 7 25 so let me do the math how long has it been on my face so this has been on for about a good i want to round it up and just say a good 10 hours 10 and a half almost 11 10 hours we're just gonna say 10 hours i think it's a little bit more but we're gonna say 10 hours and this is what the girl is giving today okay morphe okay morphe uh, uh, uh. and i got a lot of compliments about my face and everything today i was so happy to tell people like yes i have a morphe today full face full face yes <laughs> full face i'm gonna do a quick little blot with my sponge today because my actual blotting thingy is in my purse <laughs> it's in my purse y'all that wasn't even a powder blot that was just a damp it's not even damp no more it's dried up it's just 
and this is how this is going to look for the foundation wear test series like i'm hoping honestly that i can return some of these foundations because then i have a excuse to you know return and buy other things otherwise i gotta get through all these foundation and you know use them up to there's no more but she's staying she's staying the girl is staying if you guys are interested or had a thought about trying out morphe Y'all seen the results. I am oily, oily girl in 115 today's. And it's gave, and it gave, and it gave, and it gave what it was supposed to give. So, and it was hydrating. Like, sis. Well, I will see you guys <laughs> in my next foundation wear test. I don't know what we're gonna try next, but I'm very happy with my results for this. I will be wearing this. She will be on rotations. Let me know if you guys have tried this foundation. What's your thoughts and opinion on it? Until then, I'll see you guys in my next foundation wear test. Bye.